day 12 and I am going to keep this as brief as possible. Uh, yes, things have changed and yes, my alignment has completely changed and here is why. I realized that I had been I had been relying on the universe to make the decisions for me. I had been relying on I had been relying on an energy that is external to me to tell me what I want. And when you're when you're creating and when you're connected and when you're in flow it's that it, it's a balance and, and this is what I guess this is what this 30 day 30 night realignment journey for me is about it is about finding that balance it's finding the balance of the human aspect of me being in a physical body living as part of a society and also finding the balance with the spiritual aspect of me my universal self that is part of a universal collective consciousness and harnessing the energy of of the inner aspect of me and that's what this journey is all about it is about finding that balance and i i as a human haven't been part of uh, the journey so far i have been relying on my, how i feel to guide me However, I haven't been dictating what I really, really wanted. I've been allowing the path to simply be placed before me and not really making the decisions myself about what I wanted and then allowing the universe to put those specific stones in front of me. And you know, the, the last 12 days, there's been an element of disempowerment because I haven't been in control. I haven't been the creator of my own destiny. I've been allowing the universe and the collective consciousness to be the creator of my own destiny. And, and for me, that's not what the universe is here to do for me. It might be here to do that for other people, but that's not what it's here to do for me. I am here to, have, to harness my energy and to harness the energy of being human and to harness the energy of being spiritual and being part of a collective consciousness. Now, the reason why the changes, the constant changes, the, consist the consistent changes in my decisions is the belief that I've had, which is the only consistency within me is my willingness to change. So I have that belief. And there is going to be a consistency with my willingness to change and because that's where my energy is flowing that's exactly what's being created and i'm still holding on to that belief however i'm finding a balance and i'm also saying i am willing to harness the consistency of stability and having that that balance between having really strong firm foundational stable beliefs and also having a really strong willingness to change beliefs or change my environment if it's not working for me and having that balance and that's what this whole 30 day 30 night journey is all about it's all about finding that balance now what i also understand is why the last 12 days have been consistently inconsistent and it's because of the people and the lessons that i have been asking for and, and yeah, you know, I have been asking for unconsciously. So I came, um, you know, uh, I've been asking for proof. And you know, that was conscious. I uh, The whole point to this was in the beginning, I said, I want proof. I want proof that this process works. And for me, I feel like I have my proof. I said I wanted to rehome the dogs, I wanted to rehome them in a family, I wanted to rehome them in a family that was fenced, I wanted them to re be rehomed with someone that believed in raw food, that believed in them being indoor dogs, that allowed them to sleep on the bed, that were home most of the time, and that would bring them up in the same way that I would bring them up. And I found that family, and it was 95%, they didn't have a fence. 
And then I sent them a text message and I said, no, I'm not willing to give up the dogs because you don't have a fence. And I said to the universe, no longer am I willing to do things at 95%, it has to be 100%. Within five minutes, she sent me a text back saying, I think we have some miscommunication. We have a fence. The acreage isn't fenced, but the house is fenced. Now I asked her three or four different times whether Button could get out and did she not have a fence. And every time she said no. She did not think about having the fence. She didn't think about it. And it's because I was you, I was wanting proof. I wanted proof that this would work. And and this is where the universe comes and it aligns things to show us exactly what we want. The proof to me is that I made the decision and I said no, it has to be a hundred percent. They have to have they have to have a fence. Miracle of miracles, I get a text, we have a fence. I, I um, and looking at that, I decided, you know what, if this is all about what I want, I want to have the dogs with me. I love my dogs. I love having them being part of my life. They, they bring me immense joy and I want them being in my life. I want them as part of my flow. And so this is now my absolute 100% decision that I am making and I am sending out to the universe. I want my dogs with me. That's it. It's absolute. And this is what I'm understanding is the energy and the decision and the feeling, it has to be absolute. You have to be making it absolute. You cannot set you cannot settle for 95% and receive what you want because the 5% is not going to be what you want and you are sacrificing. You're giving up a piece of what you want for for something that isn't what you want and that's not what this is about and for me i want to go on the road i want to travel i want to tour around australia i want to meet random people and i want to share random messages with random strangers but you know what i want to do it in a four-wheel drive i want to do it in a pajero i want to do it in a caravan i want to do it in one of these massive massive caravans that are like living in a house and i want to do it with my dogs now, I could have gone and bought a four-wheel drive, a, you know, a second-hand dingy four-wheel drive and slept in the car and gotten, you know, gotten the traveling aspect sorted. But again, that's 95%. I'm not doing it how I actually really want to do it. And so this to me is finding the balance, realizing that the universe doesn't create for you. It's a catalyst. It is there to put the stones in front of you when you make the decision that that's what you want. I've made this decision, this is what I want. Now the universe will work with me in harmony to manifest that. And this is what I really came to understand was I kept giving my power to the universe and I kept believing that the universe was going to create it for me. And I kept believing that if I, if I simply followed how I was feeling, everything would manifest. But what was going to manifest? I wasn't absolute and concrete in what I wanted. The universe only has the ability to match what I'm thinking and what I'm feeling. Really, it only has the ability to match what I'm feeling. So if I'm feeling like traveling, then the universe is going to match that feeling. But if I'm iffy about all the other decisions, then the universe is gonna match that and I am going to manifest an iffy experience. So. The indecision has been perfect because it has made me realize that I actually have to make the decision and I have to be absolute and I have to be concrete. And the indecision has brought people like Julie Dubois who, who shared some incredible messages with me and had I not said, I want to go but I want to rehome the dogs but I don't know where they're going and if I hadn't had that indecision possibly wouldn't have connected with her. And if I hadn't had the indecision about rehoming the dogs and I hadn't posted on my wall about being devastated, I possibly wouldn't have connected with Mark Slaney. And if I hadn't, you know, if I hadn't started off this journey with this intention, I possibly wouldn't have connected and met these amazing new people that I've met in the last 14 days. 
I, because of this journey, I have connected with some incredible people and because of my indecisiveness, that has been the creation of me connecting with these incredible people. So the indecisiveness is exactly what I needed to understand and experience because now I'm in the balance, I'm in the flow, I know what I want. I want to travel around the country, I want to have my dogs, I want to do it in a Pajero and I want to do it with a spanking spiffy new caravan. And that's it. It is absolute, it is 100%, it is concrete, there's no negotiation, I'm not compromising, I'm not sacrificing. It has to be 100%. And that's what the universe is here to do. It's now the universe's role to put everything, every single stone in place so that 100% manifests.